Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to download and install a program called LD Player. So what LD Player is, it is pretty much an Android emulator. It allows you to play pretty much games and stuff like that. Games that you would usually be able to do on Android devices like on tablets or Android phones like Samsung phones or like LG phones. Or you know what I mean? All the brands that are made for Androids. And pretty much you'll be able to run the programs for it. Regardless, we're going to be showing you how to install this on Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing to do is pretty much go ahead and open up a browser. I'm pretty much opening up the Microsoft Edge. This is not the old Edge. It's a new upgraded one. Kind of like gets updated for the Chromium-based system. Regardless, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in ldplayer.net. And it'll take you to their site. They'll show you different options that they have. The Android 5.1 version. The Android 64-bit version. There's Google Drive right there. Regardless, all we need to do is select where it says to download the LD player. That's literally all I had to do. Give it a little second. It might prompt you. If it doesn't come up, you had to click there for it to work. But it already did the work for me. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. So now the program is pretty much open. It's there. From that point, I already exited the browser. I don't really need it anymore. It tells you if you want to read and agree to the terms. You have to have that to be checked for this to work. You can change the setup path if you want to, but as additional settings that you would have to do if you know what you're doing. I'm going to leave it as is and just press install. Now it's going to need some files for this to work, so I'm going to go ahead and let it download the files that are needed. Now it's in the process of doing the installation. Let's see how this goes. And now it shows that the installation is complete. All right, guys, so pretty much we got the LD player installed and we are able to pretty much start this. Now, I just want to let you know a heads up. This program has had some problems on Windows before. Not really that it's a program on itself, but let's say if you have a new upgraded version of Windows 10 that comes out. Sometimes you might be getting an issue called virtual um, virtual, virtual operating system. What would it be called? Uh, let me figure this out one second. Oh, it's virtual box is what it's called. And pretty much what it does, it seems that it's using something like an emulator inside and background for this to work. And that's what causes the problem for Windows 10 to upgrade. So you might get a program telling you that VirtualBox is installed, but it's not. Just be sure that you uninstall the LD player, and then you should be able to continue getting the latest Windows 10 for it. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and press Start. And let's see if this loads up. It says, sorry, the version of the OpenGL is too low. Please upgrade your graphics driver. So let me go ahead and fix this real quick. This Right now, I currently have a virtual drive on this. So let me go ahead and resolve this one second. Well, regardless, I actually was going to update the system, but it seems that the program did get installed. So it just has an error just telling me that I have a low amount of RAM for it. Regardless, the program is here. And I can pretty much download games and stuff like that that are in this list to start playing. And there's all these different games. You get the point for this program. And there we have it. And that's pretty much it. it. Says emulator takes a long time to start. Do you want to repair? So I'm gonna go ahead and press. Go ahead and give it some time. It's it's gonna say it's gonna get that same air for it. Regardless, this program is installed and it should be able for this to work. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.